going to attempt to replace the fuel lines on this machine. I've started to take the screws off from here. And I'm going to take off one, two, three here. I'm going to take off another one there, another one here. Another one there using a Torx 25 screwdriver. That was easy. Nothing complicated about taking the screws out. These three screws are identical, but what we've got to remember is there are two large ones here and a short one. And the short one belongs in there if we forget. That's the short one. Now we want to remove this seems to come up quite easily and out and now it's free to take the whole cradle off oh yes it slides straight off okay Ooh, a little filter in there it's very light i've got one more screw to take off that one right in the middle and that's a torx 20. right that's off now, this seems to just come off like that. Okay. Wah, the filth. Right, now we've got complete access to the uh, air filter, which we now have to remove, starting with this screw here. Now we've got access to the inside of the <coughs> air chamber. I had a lot of trouble getting this air box off. Gonna need a clean. It was um, forcibly stuck on these studs here. The plan was to remove the carburetor, but it won't budge. So maybe I've gone in too deep. I don't really know what I'm doing. But what I do know is I dug down in there middle of the picture is the <coughs> inlet return from the priming bulb so this is the yeah, return tube from the priming bulb and I ripped it out just pulled it right out then I dug deep inside with these um, <coughs> long pliers and pulled this remaining part out from with inside the petrol tank. Now I've connected that to my pipe, my fuel pipe. And now I'm going to proceed to insert this end after some modification. I've got an idea. After some modification, I'm going to insert this end from within the petrol I've tank. My modification to the end of the fuel pipe. And the idea is to pass it through from within inside the petrol tank and then pull it out from the top with long nose pliers so okay there it is it's it's popped up and i found it easier to feed the pipe in by hand without the tool now i just have to grab it with the nose pliers long nose pliers and pull it up Okay, so I've got got it now. I can just pull it, pull it in. This stuff, I don't know what it is, but it's extremely strong. It was so difficult to cut, actually. And you can feel resistance. It won't come any further because it's got that end tip on and that's it I just have to cut it the length now and fit the primer I'll fit, fit the primer bowl next it took a while to remove the old <coughs> purge line from the carburetor it was all gummed up but I finally succeeded and I placed <coughs> the new pipe from the purge into the carburetor using this tool here 
got that seated now. Okay, everything's back to the way it needs to be. I'm satisfied. So the next challenge for me was to remove the pipe from <clears throat> the inlet, the fuel inlet to the carb for, for the carburetor. And it was just all gummed up and it was quite difficult to get it off. This just fell off actually. So I've severed the line, the fuel inlet line, and I'll now pull it back through the tank. Okay, so I've um, pulled out the petrol filter. I'm now using the same end that I used before. I can see the hole just there, and I'm just wriggling it through the hole just now. Now with the new <clears throat> fuel line firmly attached to the petrol filter, fuel filter, we're ready to pull it through. I've only got it up that far. It is such a tight fit. I have found in order to pull that through, I've used these tools one behind the other, if you can understand what I mean pull up and grab this, the end of the slack with the other one and just follow one behind the other. That is such a hard pull. I'll keep at it. Oh, it's coming. It is really, it's coming, but isn't it going to break? Oh. Oh, come on, that, that can't be right. Oh, the amount of pulling I've got on that, that can't be right. That just doesn't seem right to me. Okay, so I finally got it connected to the uh, inlet to the carburetor. It's time to fit the air, the air box, the air housing. Okay, so we've got the choke knob back on. Okay, note the location of the choke knob. It's in line with that level just there. On top of that black tab just under there. Otherwise you'll be pulling things out again. Next is this Torx screw. 20 millimeter. Not 20 millimeter, Torx 20. We uh, put back on, put the filter back on. And the cover plate, the screw, and this back panel. We get this mechanism all properly seated before screwing it in and then check that this all works. Then put the handle on the engine and I'm putting this screw in first, the short one, before putting the remaining screws in. Fit the um, trigger assembly and make sure that it's functioning and then put the cover plate on. And finally, put the cover on. And tighten down. Okay, here goes the moment of truth. Leveling out. Asha. Wow, this is amazing. Out with the choke knob one more time. It's all right. We haven't got the fuel in all the lines yet. It's 
I'm happy, very happy, ecstatic.